Bemid bar numbers 17. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, and take of every one of them a rod according to the house of their fathers, of all their princes according to the house of their fathers, twelve rods. Write you at every man's name upon his rod. And at you shall write Ahran's name upon the rod of Levi, or Levi, rather, Levi, for one rod shall be for the head of the house of the fathers. And you shall lay them up in the tabernacle of the assembly before the testimony where I will meet with you. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod whom I shall choose shall blossom and I will make to cease from me at the murmurings of the children of Yasharael, whereby they murmur against you. And Moshe spoke unto the children of Yasharael, and every one of their princes gave him a rod apiece. For each prince one, according to their father's houses, even twelve rods, and the rod of Ahran was among their rods. And Moshe laid up at the rods before Yahuwah in the tabernacle of witness. And it came to pass that on the morrow Moshe went into the tabernacle of witness. And behold, the rod of Aharon for the house of Levi was budded and brought forth buds and bloomed blossoms and yielded almonds. And Moshe brought out at all the rods from before Yahuwah unto all the children of Yasharael, and they looked, and took every man his rod. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Bring at Aharon's rod again before the testimony, to be kept for a sign against the sons of rebellion. And you shall quite take away their murmurings from me, that they die not. And Moshe did so, as Yahuwah commanded him, so did he. And the children of Yasharael spoke unto Moshe, saying, Behold, we die, we perish, we all perish. Whosoever comes anything near unto the tabernacle of Yahuwah shall die, shall we be consumed with dying 